hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. It is officially December. The year is nearly finally over. And it is time for this month's lovely, lovely witch basket. Um, so last one of the year, um, they've already told us the theme, so it's going to be the spirit box. So continuing the elements. And let's just not talk too much and just dive straight in. I've been super sick and have literally only gone out of bed for this, so apologies if I sound weird or anything. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna try and have a good time. So no waffling. Let's just dive in. So which casket? If you're here, I'm sure you know what it is. Like I saw, everything's falling out already. Like I say, this month we do actually know the theme. They told us it is spirit. So we do have the little booklet which tells us the theme. Um, but it also looks like we've got like a sticker. Is it a sticker or is it just that funny paper that feels like a sticker? So this is giving us the code or a discount code for the store on their website. I think it's a sticker. Or it's just that weird paper that feels like a sticker. They used to, ages ago, give you a sticker with every box, um, but it would always just be like the witch casket label. And I think it's a sticker, I don't know, I might be being stupid, but yeah, that, that fell out. Um, so it says free spirit to go with theme, and yet that's our little booklet that tells us the theme. It looks like it's another kind of muted colour scheme. We had a very like muted box last time, and this is kind of giving me the same vibe. Uh, but yeah, we won't look at the little booklet just yet. We will just open the box and come back to it if we need it. Our artwork is very pretty. It's like the tree of life, but in shadow and light. It's got kind of like a duality. It's like light and dark, I'd say there. It's like the tree kind of being shadowed and reflected. It's quite a pretty one. Then our little spell kit this month. Let's see if it's another charm bag. Okay, this one sounds a bit different. Connecting to spirit. Contains everything you need to ask spirit for insight. Let's have a look. It feels like a chunky one. It feels chunky. Oh no, I've ripped it already. Okay, well there's and things. Let's, let's have a look. It smells good. And uh, so, okay, okay. We've got a few things here. We've got some marigold. We have got my mind. It's gone blank. It tastes really good in coffee. Cardamom. We've got cardamom. Smells amazing, and they've already depotted it for us, which is just lovely. There's nothing I hate more than flapping about trying to get cardamom out of pots. Um, so I'll probably mostly use this in coffee and stuff when I'm feeling lazy. But yeah, lots of cardamom, marigold, a little tea pod, tea pod, tea light, um, and then we've got like a little. I guess it's like you write your own kind of little desire thing so it says spirit see what i write then grant me your divine insight yep, so you've got white candle carbon and marigold card to write down what you need insight and it's got little instructions for you there so this little kit's a bit different from the ones that we've been having recently i don't think we've had another one like this um, and if we have it was quite a long time ago like connecting to spirit source spirit etc I don't think there's been another one recently, so it's nice to have something a bit different. Um, I just don't think we've had caramel in a spell kit before, so it's nice to see something a bit different. We've definitely had marigold on lots of occasions, um, but yeah, so it's nice to have something a bit different and it smells really good. So that's a nice little kit, I like that one. Then I see something that I know some people were really happy about, which is a 2022 calendar. Um, it's something that they always used to put in their boxes, but last year's December box didn't have one. So I know that there were some people a little bit disappointed because they used theirs a lot, so it would be a welcome return for lots of people. 
and so each month has just got basically the same design but with different zodiac symbols for each month and down the side we've got the same like pentacle and element symbols and it's just like a different colour. August is not Leo, I was born in July and I'm Leo so that's when that's when it should be, just saying. So I'm sure there's lots of people that'll be really pleased to see this making a return. It's quite a nice size as well. It's not kind of like too imposingly large. So if you don't have a lot of space, you could easily like hang this up and things. Um, yeah, nice little size little calendar for people. Then what should I pull out? I'm going to pull out this because I'm hoping it matches what we got in the water box. So this looks like it's going to be our stone, and yes it does. So in the water box we got a little stone like this which had the water symbol carved in. And now it looks like we've got one with spirit sign carved in. And this looks like just a clear quartz. The sun is already setting. I was hoping I'd be able to film in sunlight, but it's just, this is England and there's no sun at all. Okay, so this is quartz. Just a clear, well, plain one, it's not very clear. It's got lots of um, inclusions and things. So quartz associated with the element of spirit as it is associated with all elements. Quartz is a master healing crystal, a power stone which amplifies energy and enhances the properties of other crystals. Can be used to open and align all of the chakras. So it basically goes with this one. This one does have silver in fill. This one has gold. Um, I don't know if they do like a full set, if they do kind of like alternating or something. But yeah, that's just like the next one. I like that they did carry on with carving them. So we've now got water and spirit you can sit there together. So yeah, I'm pleased about that. If they'd have done just a little pebble of quartz like that without putting the little symbol on, we wouldn't have been very exciting. And I've been a bit disappointed that we weren't going to get a matching set. So there we go, that's something nice. Then this is another thing that should match what we had in the water box, which is the pin. And it kind of does, yeah, so it's um, like the element symbol. So we've got like the circle spirit. I do think the water one was a bit more exciting just because the color scheme was a bit more vibrant. Um, this one was kind of like quite neutral quite like minimalist in a way. It's kind of an odd colour they've gone for this month. I don't even really know how to describe it. It's a like grey with a very slight lavender tint. But it's very, very cool toned. And that's kind of reflected in this pin. It's got those cool tones in it as well. So that's our little spirit element pin. Then I'll pull out the tea. So each month you get a couple of tea bags and this one is Elemental Tea Blend Spirit. Okay, and this one just contains jasmine and lotus. Um, and they've got a little like affirmation type thing, which I don't remember, do they normally have that on their teas? And I'm just being stupid. It says, uh, it, it always says like brew with intent. But it now says, stir clockwise and affirm, I invoke the element of spirit to show me my limitless potential and connect me with all of creation. I think that might be the first time a tea has had like a specific little thing they've put on there. I'm sure normally it just says like three and ten. But I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, it's jasmine and lotus tea. So there we go. We've also got a box of incense down the side here it looks like. So you've got elemental incense, oh this is also jasmine and lotus. So elemental incense spirit, jasmine and lotus invoke the element of spirit with this intuitive incense blend. And on the side of this there is normally like a thingy. Light the incense and affirm, I connect to spirit and I draw from the collective knowledge of the universe. Yeah, that's 
smells quite nice. It's that nice light floral scent that you get with jasmine. Jasmine isn't generally my most favourite incense, but yeah, it smells quite nice. Let it do its thing. Join. Immediately join the heat of the other boxes because the drawer happens to be just here. And yeah, they're all everywhere. Next, we've got a pretty looking little bag with something a spoon in it. It's got a spoon in it. It's like a little grey velvety bag with the elements down the front, which is quite cute and it is definitely unmistakably spoon shaped in it. Okay, so it is a spoon, that was correct. Um, it's then got the pentacle and also little element symbols down the front. It's quite a cute design. It does feel like quite a chunky spoon, like the handle and things. Personally, I'm a dainty spoon kind of person. I've got tiny little hands and a tiny little mouth and the tiny little spoons. Um, but the other spoons that we've had from in the past have been really tiny and dainty, so it's quite nice to have something a bit larger um, for other people that might not like them quite so dainty. Yeah, a nice little spoon. It's got a cute pattern down its handle thingy. Is there a is it just a handle? Just spoon set? I'm sure there's like a fancy word for the, the long bit of spoon. I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, spoon. It's pretty. It's got symbols on it. What more could you want? Then other than our scroll, we're down to some little boxes. And the first one we've got is a spirit oracle cards. Ooh, nearly dropped them all little cards okay so it looks like the back of them all looks like this just like which casket logo spirit oracle cards then they're all this same like gray slightly lavender gray color and then they have different symbols and things on them so I think I've seen they've all got slightly different things on so we've got things like mindfulness new chapter you're safe. Uh, intentions, limitless, good flow, be joyous, all kinds of different things with just these kind of like simplistic line drawings on them. So we've got a line of courage, all sorts of different things on there and just in this like black and white on that same kind of muted lavender grey colour. So these are ones they've made themselves as well. So they're quite cute. They're not the they're not super thick cards, they're like the thinner type. They're not like the really chunky ones that you can get. So that's like a full little deck of cards. Then I'm guessing this is to go with them. This is an oracle card stand and candle holder. Just on like little flat boxes like this. So it's like black wood and it's like just a hole in a slot um, so it's like painted black wood we've had some other bits from them like this kind of wood before and um, it's just got like an angled slot that you put your card in then like a t I guess that's tea light size candle holder and um, there's nothing on it at all it's literally just plain black wood personally I prefer there was a little bit something decorative, just something to make it a bit more exciting than just plain black, but for some people this might be really useful. Um, we've had oracle card holders from them before in this same painted black wood, so I really have one. Um, but yeah, it might be handy for some people. Then finally we have a big box. And this one is an elemental scrying bowl, spirit. And we just get a bowl in the water box, so it's kind of keeping them connected. But hopefully this one is a nice pretty one. Oh. So, it's just black. 
So it's the same, I think it's the same size as the one we got in the water bowl and it has the same like stippled glaze that we had on the water bowl but this one is just completely black. I'm guessing the idea is that you put water in and it becomes like an obsidian mirror, like a black mirror that you do divination and stuff in. Um, but the outside is also all just plain black. It would have been kind of nice if there was some sort of something a bit magical on the outside. Um, but yeah, we've got like a black bowl. Let's have a look. Use this magical old bowl to represent the element of spirit in your magical space. Fill the bowl with water, give the water a stir, and gaze into the ripples. So yeah, there we go. A little bowl that kind of goes with the water one. So we've got that. And then the last item that we've got is just the scroll for this month. If I can get it open. Spirit, the fifth element. What's that one? Uh, it's all about the element of spirit. Uh, it's properties, divination, etc. So that is the scroll for this month. And that is everything in our box. I'm interested to see what everybody thinks of this one. For me, I think it has a lot of the same problems that I had with last month's box. It's very plain again, it's very like minimalist. I don't know if that's like their new style that they're going for. Like Witch Casket does kind of change its style every so often. Like they used to be a lot more kind of stereotypical gothic I would say, and then they became like a lot more streamlined and they've kind of gone through like a few different like phases of style. So I don't know if this is kind of like just a new phase that they're entering. And the last couple of boxes have had this very like minimalist style with very like muted colour palettes. Like this box has like a very cold colour. Um, and last month's was just like a beigey version kind of of this colour scheme. Um, so it just doesn't make it stand out as much. I also kind of feel like this would have been a better one for October. Like it kind of feels like this was what they had planned for October and it got delayed by something or something because it doesn't feel very like Christmassy or Yuletidey, um, which is fine, it doesn't have to, but they do normally do like Christmas tea and Christmas sweet teas and stuff in their December boxes. And it just doesn't have any of that like warmth or abundance that I would expect for this time of year, um, which you don't have to follow with like the seasons and the events. But I would imagine the demographic for a box like this, quite a lot of those people are quite invested in the seasons and things, so it does make sense to kind of go along with them a little bit. Um, so it'll be interesting to know what you guys think, if you think this is the perfect box for this time of year, or if you agree this is a bit more Halloween season of time. Um, I just wish I was like a bit more to some of the items. Like I say, it's all a bit minimalist and a bit plain, which might be their new style. But, like, it just doesn't make it feel special when it's just like a plain black bit of wood or a plain black bowl. With a lot of this, they're making everything themselves now, which is great. But if you're making everything yourself, it means that you can make anything. So why don't you make it like really unique and special? Because I can only get that bowl from them, but I can get a black bowl anywhere, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I just wish there was like a bit more. Something to make it stand out and make it like, if you were watching, if I was watching this video at home, I want to see something that is so unique and amazing and be like, oh my god, I need to get this box because I'm never going to see something like that anywhere else. There's nothing in this box, which just makes me think, oh my god, where would you ever find something like that? If you know what I mean. There's just missing that like special factor. Um, I do like the stone that matched with the other one that we got. But he's quite little. I do like the spell kit for this month because it's a little bit different to what they've been doing. Um, but yeah, the other things, I just wish I had a bit more like, um, so I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks. 
I don't know if it's just because like I've been really ill and I need more like comfort and warmth and this is just you know a bit of like a cold theme box so it's just not what I need right now so I don't know if it's my perception or if everybody's going to agree with me I'm interested to see what you guys think like I said this might just be like the way they're going it's a bit more minimalist and that's absolutely fine but yeah it just doesn't like inspire me if you know what I mean like it's not bad it's just like oh oh anyway let me know what you thought of it apologies if there's been like subdued energy this month I have not been well at all and I can like feel my voice straining so apologies if I sound weird or anything that's just how it is luckily I was able to get out of bed and actually film this so apologies hopefully I'll be better for the next one that is coming soon um yeah I'll be back very soon because I've already had another box delivered um and there's another one that should have arrived but it hasn't but anyway I'll be back with both of them hopefully very very soon in the meantime I hope you're all doing very well I hope you have a great season and new year and I'll see you all again soon bye everyone